Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another Hoopway video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing on why LaMelo Ball got benched in the last seconds of the Charlotte Hornets versus Toronto Raptors game in a very clutch moment. Uh, LaMelo Ball got benched for absolutely no reason, which was the reason I believe that the Charlotte Hornets lost, man. But before we get on to the video, please make sure to subscribe, drop that like, and with all that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, so you guys see it here, man. The Charlotte Hornets versus Toronto Raptors. The score is currently 110 to 112, and the Charlotte Hornets are losing. You guys see it right there. Fourth quarter, 17.4 seconds. There's 2.7 seconds on the shot clock left. Who has the ball? Devontae Graham. Now, why does he have the ball? I have no reason. Why is LaMelo Ball sitting in the corner? I have no reasoning towards this. It just makes no absolute sense. Why is LaMelo Ball sitting in the corner in the first place, man? I'm going to play the clip right now, and you guys just see, watch for yourself the stupidness that happens. Devontae Graham gets it. And what is he doing? Oh my god, Devontae Graham. He, I don't even know what he just did. He just... I don't even know, man. This guy fumbled the ball and just shot it at the air, man. This guy, Devontae Graham, does not deserve to start over LaMelo Ball. There's many questions we have to ask ourselves in this situation. First of all, why is Devontae Graham getting the ball with like two seconds left for the game winner? Why Devontae Graham? He's literally been playing so bad these last past couple of games. And second question, why is LaMelo Ball sitting in the corner like I said earlier? LaMelo Ball is your third overall pick and he's still not getting the last shot? Like this makes no sense. Why is LaMelo Ball sitting in the corner? He's proven his whole life he can shoot the shot. But I guess the coach, he just loves Devontae Graham and he wants Devontae Graham to do everything. But Devontae Graham is not that good. LaMelo Ball is just sitting in the corner. It's like the Charlotte Hornets are wasting, uh, just wasting the uh, third overall pick. They're wasting pure talent. LaMelo Ball should not be standing in the corner. Sorry, I'm ranting. But Devontae Graham, man, that's just not it. The Charlotte Hornets head coach needs to get it together right now. All right, so the next possession, to be fair, you guys see how close the game is. Devontae Graham just does hit a three to make it a one-point game. But if you guys look at the three, man, this guy got so lucky. I don't even think he knew it was going to go in. He just shot that thing up over two defenders. Honestly, I haven't even seen Devontae Graham um, make a step back three in his life or a contested three in his life. He was probably so surprised, honestly. I was watching this game. I was so surprised. I'm like, Devontae Graham, no way. Like, I honestly thought that was going to be a brick. I know LaMelo Ball's watching. Like, what are you doing? The whole Charlotte Hornets team is doing. What is this guy doing? But, the, you know, this Charlotte Hornets coach, uh, James Borrego, loves him for absolutely no reason. All right, man. So you guys see right after Devontae Graham hits that shot, I swear the Charlotte Hornets coach James Borrego is hating on LaMelo Ball. He gets benched right after. Like, it makes no sense. You guys see the score, 113 to 116. Three seconds left, fourth quarter. Uh, the Charlotte Hornets did have the possession, and they benched LaMelo Ball. Tell me, does that make any sense? If anything, you would want LaMelo Ball on the floor. He's six foot eight. He's one of the. He probably is the best rebounder on the team. Probably better than Bismack Biyombo. That dude is a straight bum. I'm, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say all my personal takes this. Uh, this video. Um, but like, it makes no sense to bench LaMelo Ball in this situation. I know, obviously, I'm not a hem NBA head coach for a reason, but um. Like, t t in the comment section, tell me right now, I want you guys to comment, would you guys bench LaMelo Ball in this situation, or would you make him take the last shot, him or Terry Rozier? That would not be a bad idea, but benching LaMelo Ball, it just makes absolutely no sense why head coach James Bragg would do this. I know I'm not the only one that's tripping over this. You guys comment in the comment section what you guys think. It just makes no sense in this situation. All right, yo, peep the score now. LaMelo Ball is benched. The score is 113 to 116. I want you to guys to see head coach his master plan to win the game against the Toronto Raptors down three. Uh, I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to play the clip and I'm going to talk after. But tell, comment in the comment section if you guys think that this is James Brego's master plan benching LaMelo Ball and making Terry Rozier shoot this game winning shot. Here's how it went. <laughs> Wow, guys, what an amazing shot by Tori Rozier, T Terry Rozier uh, to win that game. That totally was a good idea. Good, good, you know, we got to give a round of applause to James Brego, the Charlotte Hornets head coach, for benching LaMelo Ball, making Terry Rozier and Devontae Graham shoot the last couple of shots to this game. Uh, we just got to clap it up at this point, honestly. You know, nah, I'm kidding, you guys. You, they, This is the stuff I don't be understanding, man, like... I, I, like, LaMelo Ball, man, he should be taking these last game-winning shots. 
I understand he's a rookie, but how do you expect a rookie to develop if he's not going to be put in those under pressure moments? Okay, I get it. A lot of you guys might be like, it's too much pressure for LaMelo Ball to handle. No, it's not. This guy has been playing, a prof he's been a professional for two years now. More than two years. He's played Lithuania, Australia, man. Like, I don't know. Like... Tell me in the comment section if that makes sense. Bench, uh, making Devontae Graham shoot the shot before this and then Terry Rozier jack up a three like after this. Especially like the way like LaMelo Ball, they have no set plays for him. He's barely in the pick and roll. You might see him five times in the pick and roll. Uh, LaMelo Ball, you, why was he standing in the corner? Why is your star player, why, why is your second best player other than Gordon Hayward standing in the corner? Gordon Hayward's injured. He's your best player. Why is he standing in the corner in this last couple of games? Like uh, in the last couple of seconds, I don't get it, you guys. Um... Then you guys see the hor horrible shots these guys are uh, shooting. Why is Terry Rozier shooting a shot over? I think, he, I don't even know who he shot it over, but why? Why? We, like, LaMelo La Ball probably on the bench. Like, LaMelo Ball on the bench is probably like, why am I on this team? Why am I not on the floor right now? Honestly, if I was LaMelo Ball, you know, I I'd have something to say to the media after this one. I, I honestly would say something. I know, like, bro, I know LaMelo Ball is mad on the inside, but he just can't show it because... You know, he's a rookie. He, he, like, I don't know. You, you guys comment down below what you guys think of the situation. All right, guys. Last point I want to talk about. I'm going to pull up the box score right now. This is going to be very saddening for a lot of LaMelo Ball fans. Let's see. Let's look at the minutes. Okay, I guess Gordon, Herwood, Gordon Hayward came back from injury. Let's see. 25 points in 38 minutes. Okay, you know, not bad. He's an all-star. He, he deserves those minutes. We can all agree on those. P.J. Washington, 34 minutes, 14 points. Okay, he's a casual. Bismack Biombo. Why is Biombo playing 34 minutes? Like, oh my, it pains me, man. Six points and 11 rebounds. Okay, bro, like, this this is pain. Devontae Graham, 30. Bro, I'm about to end this recording, but I'm going to get too mad, honestly. Devontae Graham, 38 minutes. Like, oh my, why? You guys seen the last shot he chucked up? This guy only scored 20 points in 38 minutes. Give LaMelo 38 minutes. He's dropping 40, bro. Oh, God, he's dropping 40. All right, man. Let's look at Terry Rozier. 38 minutes, 24 points. Bro, like, this is pain. But, I mean, I guess Terry Rozier is a good score, score. So, I guess we can we can't get mad at him. But, especially the last shot he shot. We can get mad at him for the last shot he took. Miles Bridges, he's actually good. You know, 26 minutes is it, it, it's, it's too little for him. He deserves, he deserves more minutes. He dropped 10 points. LaMelo Ball, 23. <sighs> this is this is pain, you guys. Why is LaMelo Ball playing 23 minutes? You guys see, LaMelo Ball played basically the least amount of minutes from all the starters and bench players except Cody Martin and Malik Monk. Okay, those guys barely play anyways, but why is LaMelo Ball, out of all the rotational players, playing the least minutes? He played 23 minutes and he dropped 11 points four assists, and five rebounds in just 23 minutes. You guys understand how small 23 minutes is? That's like less, that's less than two quarters. Like, I, like guys, you know, I, I don't want to, this to be a rant video, but comment in the comment section if you guys believe that LaMelo Ball should be playing 23 minutes as, like, as the third overall pick in the NBA draft. This guy should be playing goddamn 38 minutes, bro. 38 minutes. He should be playing 40 minutes. He's playing... He should be tied for the most minutes on this team, and he should be getting the last sh shot every single game, man. But you guys, I want you guys to all comment in the comment section. Like, just make a whole discussion on this, why James Borrego should be fired. Uh, like, this just makes no sense, man. Like, why would he get benched the last couple of seconds? Uh, but, you know, this is just, I guess I'm rambling, but... Uh, this is going to end off the video. If you guys enjoy this content, I know you guys enjoy this deep analysis. What other YouTubers doing these type of videos? Please subscribe. You know, it only takes two seconds. Drop that like. Turn on post notifications. I'm dropping daily videos just like this one. I only bring quality content to you guys. You guys see the analysis we did about uh, the whole situation in the last game. Uh, you know... Uh, I really appreciate you guys all for subscribing, dropping a like, and turning those post notifications on. Comment down below what type of videos you guys want. Comment down below about this whole situation, what happened. With all that being said, I am going to finally end off the video. You guys have heard enough of me ranting. As always, I'm out. Peace.